Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to clarify some things for our single arm club order of operation. We had talked about our single arm club order of operation, starting with our most fundamental movements, the inside circle, the outside circle, and the single arm shield. These are, of course, single arm inside circles and single arm outside circles. And we had talked about volume cycles. The goal of the volume cycles being 20 sets of five on each side, starting much lower than that, four, six sets, eight sets, and building up, adding sets. I'm making jumps on even numbers now, but you could have all the steps in the middle. People asked, do you put a break in between these exercises? And the answer is hell yes, hell yes. Otherwise, you're not gonna make it. These are demanding activities and they require focus. So what we want you to do, as always, is succeed. The goal is to succeed. The goal is not to fail. This is different than other types of training. Other types of training, many types of physique training, push you until you fail. The problem with that with kettlebells and clubs is a kettlebell is a cannon with a handle on it. If you fail, your grip fails. It flies away from you at a great rate of speed, flying away and causing damage to something. The same thing is true of clubs, only it's worse because they're moving in this lateral plane and they pass directly over your toes at some point in that swing. If your grip fails where the club is heaviest, at the bottom, as it is picking up speed through the bottom of the arc, it crushes your toes like grapes. It's gross. Don't do it. In order to avoid that, we are putting breaks in between these things so that you can reset. Most people's brains have a very hard time with one of the four rotations, right inside, right outside, left inside, left outside. Somebody's brain is not going to work well for one of those. And we want you to succeed. We want your brain to work. We want success. So we're picking one of the activities, let's say inside circle. We're completing our volume cycle, probably six sets of five to start, building up to 20 sets of five. Then we take a break. We set the weight down. We wait. We dry our hands off. We get the sweat off of our body. And then we go and we do the next exercise. And then we take a break. And then we get all the sweat off our body. We make sure we know what we're doing. Top hand towards opposite ear. We say all the cues aloud. And then we do our last exercise. I tend to pick three exercises for a dumb nerdy reason. 20 sets of five. The goal is 100 reps on each side, which is 200 reps total, 200 reps total, 200 reps total. That is 600 reps. That's a lot. It takes a long time. 20 sets of five for your inside circle should take under eight minutes. Probably seven, 10 if you're really doing well and your hand changes are good, but it could be 7.30. Same thing is true of our outside circle. Same thing is true of our shield cast. Usually the shield cast is substantially faster because each rep takes less time. This could be as fast as like 5.30 or six minutes. If you're really flying, depends of course on everything with the weight. But if this is taking you 12 minutes, you're doing it not right. Figure out how to take less time and do it better. We're trying to get an efficient breathing strategy. It should sound kind of like running. And what we are doing, as you will notice, eight minutes, eight minutes, eight minutes. Eight minutes is an average kind of okay mile. We're not trying to run a five minute mile, although you could try to do this in five minutes, but you would be accelerating the club and that would change the dynamic quite a bit. The more you accelerate the club, the harder it is to hold on to because the more it's trying to fly out of your hand, the tighter you have to grip it, the stronger you have to be. Don't try for speed until you've gone up in weight several times. You should have used at least three clubs before you try for speed. That doesn't mean you're not paying attention to your speed. You're trying to be efficient. You're trying not to waste time. You're trying to hit full fixation at each point. One, move. Two, move. Three, move. You're not trying to move your arms super fast. You're trying to get good fixation. The movement should be clean, crisp, and clear. If it's not pretty, it's wrong. Kind of my only rule, if it's ugly as hell, you're definitely doing it wrong. Everything you do should end up being pretty. Inside circle should be pretty. Outside circle should be pretty. Climbing a rope should be pretty. Running should be pretty. 
If it's not pretty, it's generally not right. Something could be better or more efficient along the way. Because this is eight minutes, it ended up that way, I don't know why. But if you try to do eight minutes plus eight minutes plus eight minutes, that would be 24 minutes straight. That is a lot of grip load. You're probably gonna fail somewhere in there. Go ahead and take this break. Take that break. Probably one to two minutes is fine. I like a one minute break, but a two minute break, three minute break, nothing more than a five minute break. It's not that heavy. You can figure it out. Two minute break is kind of a good in between. That that would mean eight minutes plus two minutes is 10 minutes, eight minutes plus two minutes is 20 minutes, eight minutes plus two minutes is about 30 minutes. You can predict what the longest workout in this series is. Everything below 20 sets of five should be less than that. And you should be able to predict almost within five seconds how long each set is going to take if you've been doing this long enough. If people are taking 30 seconds longer, then you can go through and do a bunch of things to figure that out. You can start stop watching each individual set and find out if the left hand is taking three seconds longer than the right hand on everything. If so, you need to figure out why and you need to figure out how to make them the same. We are always trying to get the left and the right side of our body to be generally the same within a second of each other, let's say. If one side is taking an extra 10 seconds, something is going wrong and you need to figure out what it is. These are all analysis tools. We're always engineering something. We're trying to get within a specific thing. We're trying to know as much information as possible to get the desired outcome that we want. So the point of this video is put the weight down, take a break, figure out what you're gonna do and then do it. Write it all down. More data is better.